Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanumant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to determine whether the year is a leap year. Now let us try to understand what do you mean by leap year. A year which is exactly divisible by 4 means what? If it is giving the remainder 0 after dividing the year by 4 then such year are called leap year. So sometimes some years consisting of February 29 that is one extra day in the regular calendar. So for example 1992, 1996, even 2020. So all of these are some of the examples for leap years. There is an exception to this rule. Some of the years such as Centennial years are not leap years. For example, here I am going to write 1800, 1900. They are not leap years. But there are exceptions to the, uh, these exceptions as well. So here we have some of the years which are divisible by 400. Means what? If I divide the year by 400, then it gives the remainder 0. So such years are called leap year. For example, if I use 2000, then if I divide it by 400, then this gives us the remainder 0. So such years are called leap years. Now let us write the actual program by writing the preprocessor directives hash include in the angular brace. I will write iostream dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in the angular brace will write console input output dot h header file now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section i'm going to declare a variable called int year and then put semicolon and after the declaration of variables we can write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen and this is optional if you want to write you can write otherwise you can omit this Next, we'll ask the user to enter the year using cout statement. Cout stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. I'm going to write enter the year. End the double quotation mark and put semicolon. And let us receive the input from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator. And then I'm going to use this variable called year and then put semicolon. Next, we are going to check out the condition just now discussed. So if year modular division by 4 is equal to 0 and we'll use a logical and year modular division by 100 if it is not equal to 0 or we'll write year modular division by 400 if it is exactly divisible by 400 then gives the remainder 0 then such year are called leap year here I'm going to write C out in a double quotation mark I'm going to write it is a leap year and the double quotation mark and put semicolon if it is false if this condition is false then else part C out in a double quotation mark I'm going to write it is not a leap year and the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here I'm going to write get the ch function curly closing brace now let us take an example here I'm going to write output and then once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the year I'm going to write enter the year for example here I'm going to enter 2020 then year he is holding value 2020 we are going to check out year modular division by 4 is equal to 0 or not so here you can calculate 2020 modular division by 4 so whenever we use modular division this always gives us the remainder after dividing so it is exactly divisible by 4 so you can see 4 ones are 4 fives are 20, 4 fives are 20 or you can say 4 
okay 5 0 next 5 5 are 20 so this is going to give us the remainder 0 and this is returning value true then we have to condition we have to check the next condition year that is 2020 modular division by 100 which should not be equal to 0 so if i divide this one by 100 then i am going to get the remainder 2 hence which is not equal to 0 so this is also returning true true and true true and true is true next we are going to check out or so two vertical line represent it is a logical or then we are going to check out next expression here modular division by 400 so whether it is exactly divisible by 0 or not we have to check out here so 2020 modular division by 400 which is exactly divisible by 400 so this these two expressions were giving true and this is also true so or always returns false when both the expressions are returning false value otherwise it is true so here in this case it is true hence it is going to print it is a leap year it is a leap year so this is run one next let us execute the same program once again now run two now it will ask the user to enter the year once again next i'm going to enter here 1999 for example okay so the variable year is holding 1999 then we have to check out whether the year divisible by 4 exactly or not so here 1999 modular division by 4 which is not equal to 0 correct because once we divide 1999 by 4 it is not equal to 0 means it is not going to give us the remainder 0 once we divide uh, this one by 100 so this is not equal to 0 okay this is true this is false false and true is false okay so ending always gives us true if both the expressions are true 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 is true and true is true here it is false and true it is returning false value so here it is false and after this or we have to check out this condition so year 1999 is modular division by 400 that gives me exactly zero no so here it leaves the remainder so this is returning false and this is also returning false value in case of oring that is logical or false or false is false okay so once it is false then this particular statement will not get executed control directly jumps to the else part it is going to print it is not a leap year here i'm going to write it is going to print it is not a leap year now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us Compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. I'll press enter. Let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the year. Now I'm going to enter 2020 and press enter. Now it is printing, it is a leap year. Let us run this program one more time by pressing Ctrl F9. Now I'm going to enter 1999 and then press enter. Here it is printing else part of the condition. Now it is printing it is not a leap year. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you. Mm -hmm.